work based on the National Curriculum Level Descriptors for Algebra. Quite a simple one here to start with. Know that 3y means 3 times y. And that sort of says it all, doesn't it? To actually know that 3y means 3 multiplied by y. For example, if a is 5, find the value of 6a. 6a means 6 times a. And if a is 5, then it means 6 times 5. Another example, if p equals 3 and q equals 6, find the value of pq. So it's appreciating that pq means that you have to multiply by the value of p by the value of q, which in this case is 3 times 6. Given that u equals 3 and v equals 5, work out 4uv. So it's appreciating that 4uv means that you multiply 4 by the value of u by the value of v, which in this case is 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. 4 3 is 12, 12 5 is 60. Algebra level 4. Interpret and draw conversion graphs. So an example, draw a graph to convert miles to kilometres, or kilometres to miles once you've got the graph. Now to do that you need a couple of coordinates for the graph to pass through. So here's a simple thought, nought miles will be nought kilometres. But something else you should learn is that five miles is in fact exactly 8 kilometres. If you haven't learned that, you ought to. Now if you plot those two points, no miles, no kilometres. 5 miles, this is me miles up here, I've labelled me axes already. Always label your axes. So 5 miles is 8 kilometres. So once we've plotted those two points, we can draw a straight line passing through those two points and we've got ourselves a conversion graph. So let's use it. From your graph, change 12 miles to kilometres. In other words, how many kilometres in 12 miles? So we need to go up here for 12. I haven't gone quite far enough. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12 is there. Go across till you meet the graph, which in fact my graph isn't quite long enough. And then go from there down to read the answer off, which is 18, 19, 19.5 kilometres. So we can change miles to kilometres. Also kilometres to miles, so 20 kilometres, we go up here and go across and three the, read the miles off. So there's our conversion graph. Algebra, solving little equations. For example, solve these equations. 4y, well as we learnt earlier, 4y means 4 multiplied by y. So 4 multiplied by a number is 20. And we can suss out from that 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 number must be 5, because 4 fives are 20. So y is 5. 6x means 6 times something is 12. 6 twos are 12, so we can suss out that x itself must be 2. A half of something is 10. A half of 20 is 10, so we can suss out that a is in fact 20. A quarter of something is 8. Now as long as you know the piece of information that 4 8 are 32, then you can appreciate that a quarter 
of 32 is 8. So a quarter of 32 is 8, therefore P itself must be 32. Still looking at algebra, level 4. To describe number patterns. For example, find the next two numbers and explain the rule. So if you look at these numbers, you'll notice that in fact each time 4 has been added on. So if we add 4 onto the 21, and if we add 4 onto the 25, we've got the next two numbers. Explain the rule, add 4 to the last number. The other thing possibly this could mean to describe number patterns is find three different rules to change 6 into 12. So how could I change 6 into 12? Well one way would be say 6, add 6 will give me 12. Another way would be say 6 multiplied by 2 equals 12. So I can change 6 into 12 by more than one way. It's asking me to find three ways. So let's do 6, add 10, take away 4. That would change 6 into 12. In fact, there are many, many answers you could write down to this. But that's rules and describing number patterns. Now let's look at function machines. Function machines are usually written inside these arrow shapes. So here's an example. These function machines convert yards to meters. So I start with yards, I go into the function machines and I come out with meters. So change four and a half yards so four and a half goes in here and it comes out as meters so four and a half yards let's do that as uh, a decimal first off multiply by 36 now let's suppose this is a calculator so with a calculator we'll do 4.5 multiplied by 36 Then we'll take this result and feed it into there. So it is 6162 divided by 39. 162 divided by 39. And in the window of the calculator I've got rather a lot of numbers. When that happens you should in fact write them all down. And then think, well what should I write as a sensible answer? Meters... This would be a sensible answer, because this is 4.15 metres, which actually means 4 metres and 15 centimetres. So I've changed 4.5 yards into 4.15 metres, or 4 metres and 15 centimetres. You can actually use the same function machines back the other way. So in other words, we could start with metres and go back the other way. So we'll start with metres, and it says change 3 metres and 75 centimetres. And as I said, we can write that as a decimal. 3 metres, 75 centimetres. And if I go in this function machine in the opposite direction, I'll have to do multiply by 39 first, and divide by 36 second. Do do the functions round the other way. So let's do that. 3.75, 3.75, multiplied by 39. In my window, my calculator, I've got this. Now I'm going to do 146.25, divided by 36. And my answers come out looking like this. 146.25. 